In today's video, we're going to talk about translating your bridge site. So the bridge theme is fully translatable. There are two basic ways that you can translate your site. You can translate it through a plugin, or you can also translate it the native WordPress way using PoEdit. If you want to translate your site using a plugin, many of our customers have used the low-code translate plugin to successfully translate their site. This plugin comes with comprehensive documentation that explains how to use their plugin for translations. So if that's something that you would like to do, we will leave this link under the video description so that you can check out the documentation. In today's video, we will not be covering Loco Translate. Instead, we're going to talk about translating your site the native WordPress way. Now, before we get started, I would just like to talk about multi-language sites for a moment. If you would like to create a multi-language site, Bridge is fully compatible with the WordPress multilingual plugin. This is a paid plugin that doesn't come included with Bridge. So if you want to use this plugin, you will need to purchase it separately. Here on their site, they have an article on how to use their plugin specifically with the Bridge theme. So you can go ahead and check out this article. We will also leave it under the video description. All right, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to translate your site into a single language, the native WordPress way. In order to do that, you will want to make sure that you have PoEdit installed on your computer. So this is free software. The installation process is fairly straightforward. We will also leave this link under the video description. And please make sure that you have this editor installed before proceeding with the next steps. So now let's go ahead and translate some labels. I'm going to go ahead and translate this read more button. The first thing you will want to do is make sure that your WordPress admin panel is set to the language that you want to translate it to. So here in my admin panel, I'm going to navigate to settings general. And over here in the site language, I'm going to set my language. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be translating into Mexican Spanish. So let's save. We can now see that the labels here in my WordPress admin panel have changed to Spanish. Now let's refresh my page. After refreshing, not much has changed. So let's go ahead and change this read more button. In order to translate theme labels, you will need to add translation files to your server. And in order to access your server, you will need to use an FTP client such as FileZilla. So I'm going to go ahead and open FileZilla. And I'm going to connect to my server. So here on the right side, we can see the files on my server. I'm going to open up WP content. Then I'm going to click on themes, bridge, and here inside the bridge folder, we have a languages folder. So let's open up languages. So over here in the languages folder, we see a bridge pot file. So this file is like a template file that's used for translations. Here we also see these two po and mo files. These are Dutch translation files. So if you want to translate your site into Dutch, we have these prepared translation files. If you don't plan on translating your site into Dutch, then you can delete these two files. You won't be needing them. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Now for this bridge pod file, you will want to download it somewhere on your computer. So here on my desktop, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to call it Bridge Translations. And inside this directory, I'm going to download this pod file. Now I'm going to open up this file on my computer. So here we have Bridge Translations. And this is the pod file that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and open this pod file. Down here, there's a button called Create New Translation. So let's click on it. And here it's asking you to choose the language for your translation. 
And the language that you set here, this language needs to match the language that you set in your WordPress admin panel, which I just showed a moment ago. So I'm going to set Mexican Spanish here. All right, so now I have Mexican Spanish. Let's click on OK. And now we have this PO file that we can use to translate theme labels. So up here, we see a list of all the labels that are included with the theme. I'm going to go back to my page for a moment. So I previously said that I want to translate this read more label. So let's go ahead and find this read more label. I'm going to click on Control F to bring up the search box. And I'm going to type in read more. And we can see that PoEdit has found the read more here in the source text. So down here where it says translation, I'm going to add my translation. So this is my translation. And now I'm going to save this file. After clicking on save, we can see here that PoEdit has automatically named my Po file. And the name here is comprised of the language code followed by the country code. So it's important that you do not change this name. So just go ahead and click on save. All right, so here is my folder. This is the PO file that I just saved. And after saving my PO file, we see another file here that ends with an MO extension. So this MO file, this file gets generated automatically every time you save or update a PO file. And the MO file is very important for you to have on your server in order for the translations to work. So do not delete this MO file and do not rename it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload both of these files onto my server. So let's open FileZilla again. So here we see the PO and MO files. So I'm going to select these and upload them. The files have now successfully uploaded. So let's go ahead and refresh my page. And we can now see that the read more label is translated. Now, as you're translating the labels on your site, you might notice that some of the labels are not contained within the PO file. And that's because some labels come with our theme while other labels come from the different plugins that you have installed on your site. So here in my admin panel, I'm going to navigate to plugins for a moment. And we can see here that I have several plugins installed. I have the Bridge Core plugin. I have Contact Form 7. I have WooCommerce installed. And all of these plugins, they come with their own labels and their own translation files. So as you're translating your site, if you cannot find a certain label in the bridge theme translation file, then you should check your plugin translation files and look for that label there. So let's see an example. Here on this page, I have a portfolio list. And at the top of the list, we have a portfolio filter. Here it says all, so this word is translatable and it's not contained within the bridge theme pod file. This label actually belongs to the bridge core plugin. So let's go ahead and translate this bridge core label. Once again, I'm going to access my server through FileZilla and I'm going to navigate to WP content plugins. I'm going to click on the bridge core folder. And then I'm going to open the languages folder. So over here, we see that there is a bridge core pod file. It works pretty much the same as the bridge theme pod file. You will want to download this file somewhere on your computer, and then you can use it to create translations. So here on my desktop, I'm going to create a new directory called plugin translations. And in this directory, I'm going to download the bridge core pod file. Now let's open up this file on my computer. Once again, I'm going to click on create new translation. I'm going to set my language to Mexican Spanish. 
So we said that we are going to translate the word all. So let's go ahead and look for this label. So here it's found the word all. So let's add a translation and let's save. Once again, the profile is automatically named. So you do not want to rename the file. Just click on save. And once again, here we can see the pull file and we also have a mole file that was automatically generated. Now, unlike your theme translation files, when it comes to plugin translation files, they need to contain the name of the plugin in their names. So the easiest way to do this is to copy the name in the pot file. So here I'm going to copy this bridge core and then paste this name at the beginning of your PO file. So here I have bridge core, and then I'm going to enter a dash. So now my PO file consists of the plugin name, followed by a dash, followed by the language and country code. So in the same fashion, I'm going to also name my MO file. So we have bridge core, dash, language, and country code. So now that I've named my files this way, I'm going to upload my Mo and Po files to my server. Let's go back to FileZilla. Let's select these two files and let's upload them. All right, the upload has completed, so let's refresh my page. And sure enough, the all label has changed. So as you're translating your site's labels, if you cannot find them within the themes pod file, you should check your plugin translation files and look for your labels in those locations. So for example, if you're running a shop on your site and you have WooCommerce installed, some of the labels on your shop are coming from our theme while other labels are coming from WooCommerce. So you should check both your theme translation file and also the WooCommerce plugin translation file in order to locate your labels. Now, some people have asked us, how can they change labels to something else in English? And you can also do this by translating the labels. You would simply need to add English translation files to your server. So let's say that I want to change this read more label. First of all, I'm going to navigate to settings general in my admin panel. And here under site language, we can see that it's set to US English. Previously, I downloaded the bridge pod file onto my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open this pod file. I'm going to click on create new translation. And here I'm going to choose US English. All right, let's click on OK. And let's search for read more. So the read more label is found. And for my translation, I'm going to type continue reading. So here is my translation. Let's save this file. So here in my folder, we can see this PO file that was generated containing the English language and US country code. And we also have the MO file that was automatically generated. So let's go ahead and upload these two files to my server. I'm going to open FileZilla again. Let's connect to my site. I'm going to open WP Content, Themes, Bridge languages. And here on the left side, I'm going to navigate to the place where I saved my PO file. So here we have the PO and MO files. So let's go ahead and upload these files to my server. The files have now uploaded. So let's go ahead and refresh my page. So we can now see that my translation is taking effect. It works despite my admin panel language remaining in English. So we've now covered how to translate your site's labels. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If there are some labels on your site that you're still unable to translate, in the following section, we're going to cover some troubleshooting tips.
If your translations do not appear to be taking effect, you should navigate to your WordPress admin panel, go to Settings General, and under Site Language, make sure that you have the appropriate language selected. You should also make sure that your MO and poll files are named appropriately. So the easiest way to check this is through FTP. I'm going to open up FileZilla again, and I'm going to connect to my site. Now let's say that I'm trying to add Spanish translation files. I'm going to navigate to WP Content. Now every time you save a language in your WordPress admin panel, here in WP Content Languages, WordPress will generate PO and MO files. So let's go back to my site here for a moment. I'm going to navigate to Settings General. Here we can see that I've chosen Mexican Spanish. Now let's go back to my server. And here in the Languages folder, we can see these two files that were automatically generated. And this is what they're named. So we have ES underscore MX. And this name here, this is the name that you want to use for your own MO and PO files for the theme. So now I'm going to navigate to WP Content Themes. I'm going to click on Bridge and then Languages. And here inside the Languages folder, we can see that my PO and MO files are named the same way. So I now know that my files are correctly named. In some cases, your translations might not be working if your MO file has not been updated. So I previously mentioned that when you save a PO file, a MO file gets automatically created and you need to have the MO file on your server in order for the translations to work. Now, if you're editing this PO file directly on your server, for example, if I was to open this file, edit it, and save it back to my server, then this MO file here, it might not get automatically updated. In order to prevent this from happening, you should not edit the PO file directly from your server. Instead, you should save it somewhere locally on your computer. You should then open your file locally and make any edits here. And once you save this file, the MO file here in this directory, it will automatically update. And then you can go ahead and upload both of these files to your server. And you will know that the MO file here on your server, it will be the latest updated version. If you cannot translate a certain label by using the theme's translation files, then you should check your plugin's translation files and look for your label there. Also, when you're saving your plugin translation files, you need to make sure that they have the plugin name inside the Mo and Po file names. Finally, if you've previously used a plugin for translating your site, such as the Loco Translate plugin, and you now want to translate your site the native WordPress way, you should make sure that this plugin is deactivated and deleted from your site. And you should also go ahead and delete any residue files from this plugin. Because if this plugin left some translation files on your server, those files could be overriding your own translation files that are later added. So hopefully you've now translated all of your site's labels. If you still have any questions about theme translation, feel free to ask us in the comment section. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos where we share tips and tricks for building your site, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.